Hey guys, what is up? It's the guest again, guy back again with Pokemon Glazed. This is the first episode of the week, and I'm recording on a Tuesday because yesterday was just all kinds of wacky and I wasn't able to get to it. Um, I also forgot to update that thumbnail yesterday until like an hour later, so I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see. So, we got our new badge. That's mostly all I can remember. Um, we got Surf. So, I'm trying to... This is the person that made the... How about me see your profile? Sure. What? I am a center. I'm a Pokemon Egg. <laughs> okay, well, I'm a Pokemon Egg. Fantastic, your profile is wonderful. Is it really what you're about? Well, I know when you're hearing this profile, will be captivated by you. Thank you. No. Oh, yeah, what's. You make your own profile, put in together four phrases. Here, I'll show you an example using for text. You can switch the four pieces of text with anyone you'd like to make your own profile. There are a lot of text pieces that you can use in the arranged and group Pokemon lifestyles and hobbyists, so these are look them up. So, first choose the group of text, display your choices, then pick the choice you want. Read the frame in your own profile. No, that doesn't explain what a profile is. I have a feeling it's going to play out into some weird ass, like. I guess we go over to Glenwood Town. Um, some weird ass like story, like trigger, but uh, I don't, I don't know. So, last episode, I believe we got the bat, or yeah, we, I believe we got our fifth gym badge. Yeah, wow. I don't know if this game's short or if we're going too fast. But either way, um. We got Surf. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so that indicates to me that the next place we're supposed to go is across water. Um, we're going to give Kipper and we're going to replace it with Mudslap. I'm keeping Scald on him because Scald is a wonderful move. Um, now, it said the body of water was up here. Here, no, that's just the, this is the fossil place. Um, is it over here? I don't want to battle. I really don't. It's freezing. You can expect that when it's snowing. But um, yeah, I, I just woke up like a little not even ten minutes ago, and I know I had to get recordings done because. If I don't get them done in the first half of the week, it makes it a real task or a problem to record them or edit them later on because I kind of like to take my time with these, but at the same time I do them like all at once, so it takes about maybe a day to finish all the editing. And like, then after that I need to dedicate a day to uploading it and then making the thumbnails too and then... It, like, it's not a hard thing yet, like, I can handle what I've started now, but I'll just, I'm just worried for later on. Like, if I start doing series like this, but at a more bigger scale, so far Pokemon seems to be the, uh, the hardest one to edit, but the one I enjoy the most, because there's just so much to keep me occupied. Like, I always gotta make sure that the team list is updated, I like to make sure that the, uh, I like to make sure that the um, the thing below us at least always has the correct starter Pokemon corresponding to ours, along with um, let's see, just making sure everything is put together right and looks decently. No oh, man, I do not snowboards. So, this is stupid, but the new Pokemon Go update just came out, and it was basically a bunch of fixes nobody really asked for, but maybe like one or two people, I don't know. But they added this new 
tracking feature, quote unquote tracking. The reason I'm putting quote unquote there is because it doesn't help you track and hold on. <laughs> Ow. I hate when I sneeze because it makes my leg move forward and it hurts. But um, it's not really tracking because it's just a picture of grass behind the Pokemon. I don't know if that was just for pure aesthetic effect or what, but it makes me really irritated because the other day there was a Scyther in front of my house or somewhere around my house. I don't know because I never found it. And uh, of course I walked around maybe a total of nine different blocks that are around and kept saying it was the closest to me, but no luck. So, I, I feel like Niantic owes me a uh, Scyther. It's like, why do you pick the stupidest spots to snowboard? There is a little, like, ramp area, like, up to the right. And, or no, below us. There's, like, a ramp area down there, a whole, like, lodge place, and you're choosing to ski next to this horrible cliff that you could just tumble down and impale yourself on that really sharp pine tree. I'm kind of unconsciously doing this, like, I'm not even really paying attention to the game. But I just noticed that, uh... I just noticed that Spectre has been the only Pokemon we used this episode. Um, and he's the strongest, so he's definitely not the one that we need to be focusing on. So let's move him down here. And go to... Uh, if you notice, I like keeping my Pokemon in order. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, switch to the Shocker. So I guess the one we do focus on is Kipper. Alright. So I don't know if we're going to be really focusing on many other Pokemon this playthrough. Because I've got a really solid team. Like, if I see any new Pokemon that I like or would like to evolve into a Pokemon I do want, like maybe I'll switch them out for Pokemon, but I'm really happy with the team we've got now. Um, apparently I'm not connected to the internet. Let me just fix that. Sorry for the lack of sound. Also, I don't know... I, uh, it's gonna get real here for a second, so... My family does not... Like each other. A lot. And, um... Recently, uh, my grandfather learned... I got so, so I don't know if it was from a YouTube video or Googling, but he found out how to get onto the router and the admin account and try changing profile... or the account settings or whatever. And I guess he didn't think anyone would notice The fuck? You shitting me? Out of all the sprites you could have chosen, you chose one of the ugliest fucking water types ever? But, I guess he didn't think no one would notice the internet just blatantly going out and then, uh, profile or, uh, name of a, like, a new Wi Fi name popping up as soon as ours went out. Um, com being completely open, and, you know, every time I unplugged the router here to see if it reset it, that one would go out, so... I don't think he noticed how stupid he was while doing this, but... Like... He fucked up the internet for that entire day. It's the day we were recording uh, Borderlands and had technical difficulties. The, the difficulties were my grandfather fucked up my internet, and it was an open frickin', like... Thing and people were connecting to it outside the house, so I was not having a lot of fun. Um, so I had to eventually sit there and find out how to reset it all, because my mom was yelling at me saying that, you know, I can't talk to anyone or my ISP or whatever because they're not going to be able to help, so I just said screw it, and I reset the whole thing. I made it so only I have the password to access the router, and... I made the name and everything the same, like, for the WEP key and the actual internet connection name. But the thing is, after I connect, like, it worked for everyone after, uh, like, after I changed it all back. And that was fine. But for some reason, like, for my computer, I use this, like, it doesn't have a wireless card in it. It has a, uh, like, a d dongle, I guess it's called. Oh. Um, a wireless adapter, network adapter, I don't know, but uh, ever since I started using that on this, well, it's always been on this computer and it's always kind of been an annoyance, like when I first got the computer, 
uh, Lord Chuckleton didn't tell me, and we th I basically thought I would have a computer with no internet for the longest time until I noticed this weird menu popping up that apparently he never had to use before, that I had to always change my internet settings through. Every time I disconnected, I had to go in there and either unplug the dongle or whatever, but it all worked out eventually. I kind of wish I had that slowpoke. Um, um, but, yeah, but, res I don't know why, but as soon as I reset and everything, uh, my computer, like, skipped it for a second and started calling it, like, the name of my internet number two. Like, it's literally just the name of my internet and then the number two. And I don't know why. It works still, so I'm not complaining. But literally, the, after that happened, uh, my grandfather claimed to, uh, want to fix the printer, you know, a day after it was used, the day before, or no, the day after it was used, the day after I changed the internet, so this is about a three day thing. So I changed the internet, he messed with the uh, printer, which was yesterday, and ever since he messed with the printer, like, the internet was going on and off all day, and he has no clue why, just like he had no clue that, uh, that why the internet was changing to uh, the name of our town, Wireless, which was even more stupid because when I asked him, hey, you sure you didn't change anything, and I went on his laptop and went to the router settings, he already had to save password and name under or for the router. He had like three different admin names typed in with like four different password attempts, and it was just fucking stupid. Like, this man could not have been any more I don't I, I don't want to use the word but retarded. Um But it was just, and it's like it's really stupid. I, I can't believe he would go to such extents just to piss off his daughter, which is my mom, of course. Um He's just been getting real spiteful as of lately and just complaining at everything he can and it's been annoying the hell out of me. Um but Hopefully that will all change because my mom is looking to do apartments to move into so we can move out of this house because it's been having... No, shut up. Karim doesn't live in this cave. Leave me alone. Um, but it's, it's just been really stressful having to live in this household with him because he is... He's a real fucking piece of work. Growing up, he had there was no problem with him. Actually, growing up with him, he was a really nice man. Like he might have complained about some stupid stuff here and there, like pick up these children's toys or whatever. But that was like when I was five. But recently, he's just been getting really out of hand. I don't know why. Um, Blake Cruz, but Chance, I thought you might be coming this way. I heard that Team Fusion might be on the move. And I think we have to deal with. They may be headed near Choco Town. This is a temporal tower. Oh, in the temple, temporal tower it houses ancient ruins from the past. I'm gonna keep an eye out on that tower. Sigh. Sorry, Chance. I'm just nervous about something important happening soon. Try to keep focused on getting badges, and I'll contact you if something comes up. Once you get the Blaze Badge, Fly Badge, Choco Town, and Surf to the East, seeing you. Oh, some girl with green hair said she was looking for you. She ran off to Tunado Safari, or the Tunad Safari. Uh, it's out of here, take care. Sorry, I was just... Um, cape as your performance. I'll show your skills here. Are you tired of battle? No, not have a keg. Just call out a Pokemon contest, you freaking weeb. Wait, what? Music? The, what? Welcome, it's not too important, but my name's Ryan. Pleased to meet you. Think you think you're getting better than me? So you've got to put your money in your mouth, I'll take you on. I don't know what he was doing, but yeah, I think I'm better than him. I never mind, I do not think I'm better than him. Uh, 
give you a trade stone if I can leave this battle right now. Sir. Oh, it's a shame! I don't know what's going on right now. I've honestly just been zoning out. I've been seeing the screen, I've been looking at it, but I have- I cannot tell you the faintest of what's happening right now. Like, I am so out of it. What was I saying? I was saying something about oh, my grandfather was ridiculous, but yeah, I don't, I'm not going to get too far into it at this point. I need to focus on the game. So, I'm guessing we're going to the new town, but before we do, we need to uh, face that rival again. Um, the girl with the green hair that's just kind of a scumbag. The reason I'm calling her that is because she's a little cocky biatch who really needs to just shut up. I really hate people like that. They're just too overconfident. Good game, that was really good. You rocked the house. $2,000? You're a good guy. Here's a gift from me. It's one of my favorites. Oh, you don't have room in your party. Don't worry, I'll send it to your PC. Haunch Crow. Come back later. We can put another show. I don't like Haunch Crow. <laughs> I, I guess I'll take a look. What's your hunch crow at? Uh, sleep, maybe a uh, wing attack cave. I really don't see myself using it, but it's nice to have it in the PC. Do you want to make snacks with this whole timer? What? What? I don't... Have you tried berry blending? No, because there hasn't been any kind of, like, berries up until this point. Also, what is this? Oh. Never mind, I'm going to leave. I saw nothing. Um... I forgot a talent cut, I feel so bad about that. Snowball? What? Um... Is that a real move? I feel like it's not. I can't really say. Um, the town is pretty simple, but it has a lot of neat things, like the performance hall and the inn, and the safari zone. Alright, I was... okay. Cape is there, the town of art and music. I would love to live somewhat, like... I, I don't know... why? Um, I just want to live in a nice house that has somewhat of a view. I don't care if it's a view of the city, or the forest, or the ocean, or whatever. I just somewhat of a view, period. Like, any earner is better than where we're at now where the only view I have is of the backyard that is half dead grass. Um, uh, this is something I could buy, so not not 20, but I'll buy 15. Oh, stat. Okay, 8, 7, 8. Alright, thank you, lady. I just want to, like, if I had a view like that, I would die. Uh, good night sleeping. So, why do I need to go? Uh, welcome to the Zarian. Good news, we have many rooms open and are ready to be rented for all the low prices of one million dollars! Yeah. Kill yourself. My grandpa's the innkeeper. Talk to him to get a room. Your grandfather's a fucking cheapskate. I don't know the guests hang around here today since those big fancy resorts and surrounded the aisle opened up. Oh, we just gotta check the trash, guys. I feel like there's something important there, though. 
Have you been to the overseas bridge yet? I think you have great when pushing back at you while you ride your bike. I don't... Yeah, I don't have a bike. I thought the bike was replaced... Oh wait, maybe one of the bikes was replaced with the skis. That's what... Oh, okay. Um, so there was really nothing that... Wait, this is the... Wait, no. Isn't this far zone supposed to be like in a building and then pass that to like the actual... Nkata. Nope. Yeah, go battle this kid. Have you been to the Safari Zone yet? It's really awesome. If you manage to catch more than 20 Pokemon in the Safari Zone, I'll give you a prize. I mean... I'll try? Does he mean all at once? Or in general? So the more I play this game, the more I've, like, grown to just admire the, uh... Just general... Aesthetic of it. Um, also, ever since I started playing the game, um, I've had I've always had this problem where uh, I've never been able to describe what I think. Or if you heard a Pokemon in the counter this far, you get really hard to find out who else and to know. But yeah, it's like I've always had this problem trying to describe things to people. Like I remember me and my friends got into a huge fight over why superhero movies were bad, and they didn't agree with me. But basically I had the discussion where it's like superhero movies were only made for comic people, but at the same time I was trying to tell them that you can't look at the downfall of the prices of comic books, uh, comic books in recent years and then expect everyone or all these people making movies about superheroes to, uh, to like, you can't expect all these people who are making superhero movies to only be trying to target the comic reader demographic of their audience. Um, for some here, and then you enter the story zone, you start with 30 story walls, you can stay in as long as you want to enjoy your time. Oh, thank you. But... Wait. Oh, wait, you can't play without a poker case. You can get one at the case. God damn it. But, um... Shit, how long has this episode been going on for? Oh, I didn't notice it was 20 minutes, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go grab this case and we'll be done, but yeah, it's always just been a problem, like, especially in that conversation, because, because I couldn't describe what I wanted to say, like, they didn't understand me fully, and it made me really angry, because they wouldn't even, like, look at the video that kind of explained it for me, they just kind of, like, brushed it off and just wanted to get over it thinking that they were right or something like that, but I just, I just really just really grinded my gears. Alright, so now that we got the book case next episode, I guess we're going to be taking a break and going to the Safari Zone, maybe meeting again, uh, meeting up against our um, rival. So if you enjoyed the episode and enjoyed me just completely zoning out and just talking about stuff, Leave a like down below, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos, uh, hopefully not like this. And also, this is kind of a serious question, but uh, this is a video I've been holding on to for a while that I don't know if I should put out yet. Um, it's just basically just me talking about some feelings I've been going through in the past, and it's just, I, I don't know if I should release it now or maybe. When I have more people, so they don't think it's just some like attention grabbing scheme or whatever, but I just. I want you guys to know how I'm feeling and how I'm doing, because if I'm not honest and completely open to you guys, I don't. How can I expect you to be the same to me? So, until next time, I hope you all have a great day, and. Bye bye.